Join us here on this Coast to Coast broadcast. Hi there, Roy. Good morning. Welcome. I uh, got quite a problem. I don't run computers. Too old for that kind of stuff, and my hands have been frostbitten. So I've got some material together we're trying to get out worldwide because of the Earth changes. And I was wondering, I, you know, I don't operate a computer, and I'm not having much luck finding somebody. It's Facebook and uh, MySpace and all these other things are a little bit foreign to me, and I was wondering how to get this information out to people the best way. So you're writing, so you wrote a book, or you are writing a book? Well, we've got three. Okay. Um, and you want to advertise this on Facebook? Well, that's what I don't know. Uh, which way is the best way to get them out on a worldwide coverage, because it affects the whole world. There's going to be some major earth changes here in the very near future. Um... Well, first of all, there is no space book. It's called there's MySpace and then there's Facebook itself. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, and the way that people use that to market their their products is that is that you have these uh, you know, maybe you set up a group called the End Times and then that would be one way for people they would join the group and then you could try to sell the book that way. You could have a website. Probably the easiest way is to do it through a blog. Uh, there's also uh, there's also sites like Lulu that allow you to upload your manuscript, your Word document, and uh, the computer file, the book, and then it will go ahead and print the book and then ship them on demand. I mean, there's all kinds of different options for this. So we've got the books already published, printed, and, there, and the pictures and everything in them. It's just a matter of getting the word out to the public. See, we're going to have some major earthquakes next year, and it's going to continue. And so, how, let me ask you a question, right? So, how is the world going to end? Uh, half the population would be deceased in the next uh, 14 years. And why 14 years? Well, that's the time frame that God's put on it. That's where man has been destroying this planet for many centuries. We used to have two moons. We used to have a planet where Mars is, which is called Mero, which is now the asteroid belt. Uh, Atlantis was sunk 250 miles down below the surface of the Earth many centuries ago. So there's been many, many wars on this planet, and the globalists are involved in that. I mean, we've had two presidents in the history of this nation that went to heaven to reincarnate. The rest had to stay here. Okay, that's interesting. I know it's pretty scary, but Missouri, Arkansas, and Tennessee will blow next year. See, God lives two billion years ahead of us in time. And 700 light years from Earth, and his pictures on the book that was just put out in March, and his son's picture, and three of the angels. Now, your Bible doesn't tell you where he lives, doesn't tell you his name, doesn't tell you where heaven is, doesn't tell you where Mother Mary lives. It's all in here, including the hollow Earth. Have you ever found anything in the Bible about the hollow Earth? No. Well, you see, there's too much knowledge you don't I've, have. I've never, heard, I've never heard of the hollow earth. Who's down there? Well, there's four times as much space in the hollow earth as there is on the outside. Hmm. The river that runs out both ends. That's where the but, fresh but water comes from. But who's there, Roy? Pardon? Who's, who's there? The most ancient ones, over 2,000 years old, called the Tall Whites. And there's some red Bigfoot in the hollow earth, some little green scientists that are about 30 inches tall. Your hairy mammoth, a lot of the animals and birds and stuff that was never put back on the outside there after the flood. If you want to go to it, okay. but to get this out to people is nearly impossible. Well, sure. I mean, you know, it's a, you're asking. Because the news media does not want the truth out. Yeah. The I mean, news media is controlled by the secret government. They're the controlled by who? The secret government, the globalist. Oh. The Rockefellers, Rothschilds, <laughs> Milliburgers, the Bush family, and et cetera. So who's in charge? The globalists, there's 350 families. Wow. They control the whole planet. Okay. You go to God, <laughs> and right on down to, uh, <clears throat> it'll tell all about the hollow earth, what's on the moon, what's on Mars, okay. Pluto, Venus. Well, you know, it's, it's uh, yeah, okay. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure how you'd sell that one. I, I've been good at selling a lot of stuff over the years, but that's not, that's not, this is not one I'm, I'm thinking. But you know what? I'm certain that there's probably a way for you to find people that would believe this on the Internet. I mean, you know, there's just about everything's online. I wonder if Bigfoot's down there, too. There's a lot of stuff down there. Loch Ness Monster. 
Uh, Roy, you, you can you need to get online and then you'll be able to figure out how to do this on Facebook. But again, there is no spacebook.com. It's actually facebook.com. And uh, you know, certainly there are a lot of folks that take your money online. Just be careful where you spend it. Okay, sir. Thank you.